Liver and pancreas are volumetric organs. It's difficult to uh, sometimes understand what are the relationships uh, between different structures. The augmented reality could improve our surgical skills because it could help us to guide where to cut or where to perform exactly the transaction line so we could leave no tumor on the patient. Here we can identify the liver with the metastasis. Here we see it, one in segment three, one in segment six, one in segment seven. seven. But here, some of them are quite difficult to, to see. We see that the cholecystectomy has already been performed. So first, in the first stage, we will remove the tumors in the left liver. Yes. And in the second stage, we will remove all the other little, little tumors. Before using VSI, we used other softwares uh, with different lenses. We wanted a, a more advanced tool, a more advanced software, so we did a little research and we found that Apopla was providing PSI. We thought it was an interesting tool. We think it could help us to improve and reduce surgical time because if we know where to go, we could be faster in our surgeries. Other objectives to reduce um, some other classical technologies and also maybe show the other surgeons uh, how to learn this kind of, of surgery. We are a team of several surgeons, liver and pancreatic surgeons. The research that we are beginning now focuses on generating evidence around um, the use of mixed and augmented reality in liver and pancreatic surgery. So we've thought about um, having two separate groups of patients we would have 57 patients for each group. So in, in the group A, we would use um, classical technology or, or classical planification. And in the other group, we would use augmented reality to improve our surgical results. Well, the idea is that all the patients that are going to be in the group with VSI tool should have uh, the pre-surgical planning with augmented reality technology to visualize the CT scan or the MRI, but also uh, 3D virtual models. This should help us during the surgery. Surgery should be faster, should be easier, uh, safer. Um, so we need more evidence, we need, we need more clinical evidence, and we are now beginning, but we are pretty sure that in the future uh, this technology will be a common uh, use in operating room.